If you're looking to take your Valentine's meal from ordinary to extraordinary, a little bubbly or an after dinner drink might do the trick. No matter what your budget, there's something for everyone to indulge in. And this morning we have Katia Hernandez, who's with Holiday Wine and Liquor, here to show us some examples. Thanks so much for being here, Katia. Hi, good morning. We're excited to have you because Valentine's Day is all about love, but it's also about spending time with that loved one at home home if you want to. Absolutely. So you have some great drinks here, yep. some great things to we show brought our viewers. We lots of options. We brought a chocolate martini. Okay. And we brought a berry apple kind of cool mix that can be non-alcoholic as well as alcoholic for those kiddos. Mm -hmm. And then we brought some wine choices. So let's go ahead and talk about the wine choices really quickly before we get to sure. this. Um, what are some of the wines that you could choose for, you know, something sweet? I know there's a lot of people that prefer sweet on Valentine's Day. Absolutely. So these first two are Moscatos, which is going to be a sweet grape. And this is a Moscato Rosado, which is going to be just a touch drier, but it's going to pair really well with lighter foods. Mm -hmm. And this Moscato is regular, not rosé, not flavored. It's a regular 11% alcohol, so it's really going to give you that regular mm -hmm. um, alcohol level for the white, for white wines. Okay. And the, here we have a red wine, which is a Cabernet mm -hmm. Sauvignon, and it's called Terra Valentine. So there are, there are plenty of Valentine's Day themed options at the okay. store. And then here we have Alicia Brut, which is a Gava. So that's sparkling from Spain, and mm -hmm. it's made from a Pinot Noir grape. So. It's slightly dry, but also pink and festive. And what's the difference between these wines? Because I know that a lot of people, like for example, between the Moscato or the red, uh, what would be the difference between that? And who would you want to give something like that to? So for the Moscato, these are going to be our novice wine drinkers or anybody who likes just something just a little bit, a tad sweet. Mm -hmm. And so our palates are kind of geared to like something sweeter. Well, at least my palate is geared to like something uh -huh. sweeter. So starting with the Moscato is always good. The Cabernet Sauvignon is going to be a little drier. Okay. And it's going to be a little heavier and it's going to pair with some heavy foods. And here, even though it's pink, it's not sweet. It's mm -hmm. a brute and so it's going to pair, pair really well with foods like fish, salad, even some nuts and cheeses. And a little later in the show, we're actually going to be making a pasta dish. So which mm. one of these would go best with that? If the sauce is red, I would say the red wine. If the okay. sauce is white, I would say the brute. Great. And then you said that you have something that you could make that could be good for the kids as well. Yeah, absolutely. So here I have some apple juice, some cranberry juice. Just mix those together, garnish with the cherry. Okay. And put something, you know, festive in it and call it a day. So just something to keep them in the activity, not to leave them out. But if you're a parent, you could add something that's a little, you know, a little kick to this if yep. you want it. So you put a little cranberry, a little apple, and then what would you add to that? You would add a little bit of vodka. Okay, <laughs> some vodka. So yeah, you can add as much or as little as you want. But there's, it's always a good option, and the family kind of activity is always mm. really cool. Absolutely. And then, of course, for the parents that do want to make something for an after-dinner drink, you have the martini. We're not actually going to make it, but what we are going to show you is just the different products that you can put in there and sort of explain how you would do yep. that. Absolutely. Here I have some Hershey sauce, and I'm not going to go all the way, but I'm just going to show you how to line the cup. So you're just going to kind of want to line the glass with some Hershey sauce. Mm -hmm. And there we're going to mix Godiva chocolate liqueur and chocolate creme de cacao and a little vodka. Shake it up and strain it. Great, sounds great, Katya. Thank you so much for being here this morning. We're going to come back in our next hour with more tips for you to do something at home with your sweetheart, with your family, in our next half hour with Corner Bakery. In the meantime, let's head over to Mary.